I guess afternoon, morning, whatever, wherever you are. It has been a long minute since I was able to sit down and do a video. It has been a month and a half, let me tell you. But I am back and hopefully we'll get started. And I want to do today a foundation review. Now I haven't done a foundation review in forever. So I'm gonna, I literally went to CVS the other day and I said, hmm, you know, what can I do? And I saw that they had Flower, I think Flower Beauty is the name of the company. And uh, I saw these liquidy, very liquidy foundations. And they're supposed to be a serum. They're supposed to be hydrating. They're supposed to be all that and some more. And it was about $15. And I decided, okay, I'm going to pick it up to do a review for you guys. Why not? Uh, so this one, I'm going to put my little specs on so I can read it for you. I'm going to do a little bit of a reading online to let you know what it is. I've got, um, full disclosure, I just got out of the shower. This is my hair drying up right now. Uh, I haven't blow dried it in forever. It's just curling up and that's the way it's going to be. I'm growing it out a little bit. I don't know why. It's just staying at home and not really, it's not the summer or anything. I'm just growing it out. But anyway, I digress as usual. Uh, I got out of the shower. I have nothing on. I don't even have any moisturizer on. I did my eyebrows and that is it. Uh, I put some eyeshadow on my eyelids because I am going to be filming another video right after this one on putting on some false eyelashes. So stay tuned for that one and I will put a link to it once, you know, everything is okay and up there. And uh, I did put some mascara on, which I'll talk about in a minute, but there's nothing on my face at all. I will moisturize before we get into putting this foundation on, but just wanted to let you guys know. Okay, so uh, let me get into it. Um, I pulled up here on my phone just a little tidbit on what this uh, foundation is all about. It's uh, by Drew, you know, Drew Barrymore. Uh, owns the company and uh, she's the one that puts together the the whole you know I don't say that she puts together the whole marketing but she's the power behind the flower okay and uh, so it's got a whole you know concept of I guess being really good for your skin and good ingredients and things like that I don't know too much about it you know I'm not an expert in it like I said I picked it out uh, because I thought it was really really good um, so this is what it says a hydrating and weightless buildable foundation that conceals and smooths skin leaving you with a natural look and radiant finish our Get Real Serum Foundation conceals and smooths skin, leaving you with a natural looking radiant finish. The light to medium buildable coverage is an adaptable formula that is suited to match a wide range of skin tones infused with a hydrating weightless antioxidant serum blend to help nourish and care for skin as you wear it. Our formula doesn't settle into lines and skin appears youthful and healthy. So I could use a lot of that. Uh, it features lavender flower water that brightens and refreshes the skin while olive oil, a natural anti-inflammatory, provides antioxidants and ultimate glowing hydration. Okay, I like that, you know, olive oil, I'm always touting that. It's cruelty-free, it's vegan. Uh, they do have a full ingredients list, but I won't waste your time, uh, you know, reading all that. You can, you can... I'll leave a link to the Flower Beauty link below in my description box so you guys can go ahead and read that. Uh, it says to shake well before applying with your fingertips. Dot get real serum foundation on cheeks, chin, nose, and, fan and forehead. Using a foundation brush or a beauty sp sponge blend foundation upward and outward toward the hairline and jawline. So that's it. Let's get cracking. I'm going to put it on. I am going to do uh, like check-ins with you throughout the day. It's now about 11.41 and it's a Saturday. So let's start doing it and then we'll see how far it goes. I also picked up the Flower Pots Powder Blush. So that is uh, part of their line. So I figured why the heck not. I'm there. So let's get that. And this color... Uh, where do they say where the color is? Maria, you should have said where the color is. Buildable color. Oh, here it is. It's called Sweet Pea. Here. 
And so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to put on this e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream with hy hyaluronic acid and peptide complex. I've really been liking this. Uh, oop, right, there you go. Uh, this cream. I keep it on my vanity right now. And especially for these winter months, I must uh, put something on every day uh, along with you know, some sunscreen and things like that. This doesn't really have sunscreen in it. There you go. That's how it looks like. I'm just going to dot it ever so gently on my face. And I'm not overdoing it because I really want this uh, foundation to do the heavy lifting for my uh, skin and supposedly all the beauty benefits it has and olive oil and all that. But, um, you know, you got to have a little something, something, so put it in there. I hope all of you guys are doing okay. I'm, you know, working from home as much as I can. I do go into the office when I need to, um, and it's just scary out there, like all these variants now and everything, and I'm like, I, I just, I went out for my, for my um, birthday dinner, and that's basically all I'm going to do uh, for now. I, I'm still having food delivered in, and I'm cooking a lot, and then I'm just sticking to my neighborhood. I'm not really going out. I've gone on to Chewy a lot to get all my dog supplies and dog food because I just I really don't want to go out, you know. Okay, so uh, let me tell you what... Um, what color this is. Hang on. I believe it's nude. I will just double check. Yes, it's nude L3. And that's how that looks like. This is the bottle. It's got a little pump spray on it. And it's the first time I'm going to be using it, so it's probably going to uh, want to pump up a little. So we'll just, we'll just try it here. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit. There we go. Pump, pump. Oh, there you go. It's very liquidy. It's running down my hand there there it is very liquidy uh, so I am gonna dot this like they said dotting dotting trying to look at the camera and look at my side mirror here that I'm using so hopefully this will work out okay it um, it does look a little bit warm on my skin tone and I might need to put a little more, but I'm going to start with this, okay? So that's how that looks like. And uh, I'm going to start blending it in. I'm using this brush, and it's a um, NYX or NYX Professional Makeup Brush. I don't know what the style is, but I really, really love it. And it's got like a little divot in there, so you can really go to town and blend things in. Okay, right off the bat... Uh, I'm noticing that it's drying on my skin really quickly. There we go. If you can see it. It's actually, um, my skin is sucking it in. I don't know if it's because my skin is dry and it's like craving moisture or because this is just drying extremely fast on the skin. I do like a little more work time uh, with my foundations, uh, just so that it blends a little easier. But um, I am liking the way it looks, guys. It is uh, matching my skin tone very nicely. So this is about the um, third or fourth bottle in from the lightest shade. So just so you know, um, what that is. It's not ivory. It's not porcelain. I think those were kind of some of the other names that I caught. Um, but this is definitely a very bluff, buffed type of nude. There you are. There you go. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit there. Now I'm going to put a little bit under my eye, just a tad, just to see um, how it blends in. I'm almost using it, you know, like a concealer. Uh, and a little more down here, I noticed I wasn't really covering that much. 
you know, I, I tend to err on, um, I can build it up, but I can't take it away kind of thing. So I'm just going to tap it in with my fingertips because like I said, it is, um, getting into my skin pretty quickly. It's sucking it in. It's very hydrating. It's, um, kind of lightweight, like they said, almost, you know, like a watery consistency, but I can definitely feel that little bit of oil base, and I'm just rubbing it in at this point with my fingertips, not the brush, um, just to get all the nooks and crannies in there. There we go. Let me take a quick jabby look here. Yeah, it seems to be it seems to be really uh, getting into my skin very nicely. So far, so good, guys. Um, I'm not even going to pull it down my neck only because I've got a high, you know, sweater on. Uh, and it just doesn't pay to do that. But there it is. I'm going to come in a little closer now. The match is really, really nice. Uh, I cannot see any demarcation uh, on my neck at all. I don't know if you guys can see anything, but I, I can't. Look at that glow. That is really good. Really nice glow there. So, so far so good. Uh, I'm liking this. All right. Um, so let's, let's crack into the uh, blush. And I'm not going to powder this down either because, uh, again, I want to see how it does on its own. Uh, does it hydrate my skin or does it dry it out or anything? And, you know, if you put a lot of products on it, it's... Oh, man, why do they have to put things in like crazy, like you can't get it out? Oh my God, I'm going to have to tear this box. Hang on. Oh, did you hear that? Look at this. I have to annihilate the box just to get it out. It's like, my goodness. You know, what's that? Oh, my gosh. It's like glued onto the back of this. Literally glued on. Glued. Glued. I'm going to bust the whole thing here. Blush just to get it off. All right. Don't try this at home. Seriously almost lost a nail trying to do this. I'm trying to open it up. Okay, finally. God almighty. And there it is. That is a gorgeous color. It really is almost like a primrose color. It's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, can't wait to dig into this. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and apply it with this one. And if you hear a dog shaking back there, it's just Biscuit. He's in his crate today because it's extremely cold out. Um, so he's getting crate time. Oh, wow. This is a nice blush, guys. Oh, this plays really nice with this foundation. Oh, I am liking this. It's not patchy at all. Look at that. Whoa. Do you see that? It's subtle, but it's so pretty. Look at that compared to this side. I've got my glow on, I'll tell you. I scrubbed my face um, in the shower before I came, you know, came on. And uh, it's nothing like a good morning scrub in the shower to get all those nasties off. That has some really serious color. Look at that. I am barely touching my cheek, and it's got some really serious power punch. Look at that. Whoa. I'm kind of looking in the camera, so if I'm not accurate, I apologize, but I'm trying to get this on here. Yeah, a little goes a long way. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to back off a little so the camera can really see it. There you go. Look at that. Ooh, that is pretty. I really like that, guys. That is really pretty. Uh, just to make mention on my eyes, I do have uh, the Milani, uh, the waterproof one. It's called the waterproof one. And uh, I just have that on there. I am 
like I said, getting ready to do a um, fake eyelash video. I don't know how great that's going to come out, but it's some other weird one that has some glue on it or something I want to try on camera for you guys. And so you guys have a good laugh at me trying to do that. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is, right? Okay, and then for my lips, my lips have been dry. I have been putting a lot of balm on it, but there's nothing on this planet uh, short of Vaseline and Aquaphor that you can keep using, uh, especially in this weather. So, and I'm not the best. I, I am lazy with, with my lips. I, I do have to explain that. I am lazy with my lips. So, um, I'm going to do the Liquid Cat Suit, and it is a wet and wild um, product. Now let me see if I get a color, color on here. Uh, it's cruelty free. That's good. Wet and wild. It's matte. And it's called Nudist Peach. That's that one. Boop. Is that upside down? There you go. It's a really pretty color. I like it. Take off glasses, Maria, while you're doing this. Take off glasses. Okay, here we go. It does have like a, I don't know, medicinal, alcohol kind of thing, smell. There we go. And that's just a hint. It's not, I'm not going out. I'm not doing anything. This is just a cover my lips, but that's how it looks like. I always love a good nude. I, I really do. I'm, I'm such a nudie. Uh, nudie is my comfort area, any kind of nudes. I, I even have nude on my, on my, um, my hands today. This is actually called Wink and it's by Ravel Dip Powder if anybody cares to know. But yeah, that is a gorgeous nude color. It's a darker nude, but I I love nudes. It's you can get away with you know, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it during the day, you can wear it at night. It's just I love nude. Anything nude. I love it. Okay, so what time is it? It is now 11.55, okay? And uh, like I said, I will uh, check in with you guys throughout the day. Uh, I'll let you know how it's wearing. So far, it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, just stunning. I have all these little baby hairs coming out. I just, I have no idea why. Um, yeah, so there it is. There's the blush. We'll see how the blush wears on top of this foundation as well. So we'll we'll be able to check out all of these. So kind of like a two for one type of review. And um, you know, for our mature skin, uh, drier skin, um, no breakouts, no real oiliness, and in the winter months. So we're gonna handle all of those and I'll let you know how I like it. So far so good, matches on point. So I can't complain with that. Everything, you know, it's cruelty free. It's a hydrating serum. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's get with it. And I will check back with you in a couple of hours. Oh, hey guys, I'm checking in with you. Uh, I have been doing a number of videos. I did change my outfit because you have to have different outfits for videos and stuff. Um, and it is now 117. So I just want to show you guys that and uh, just do a check-in on, on the makeup. Um, it seems to be behaving very well. It's been like what? Like about two hours? Yeah, about two hours. And I know I'm kind of glammed up looking. I put on some eyelashes and only because I did another video on how to put these on. They're like aqua lashes. And go check that video out because that is a hoot. That is definitely a hoot. I don't know how I managed to survive that. But um, yeah, uh, the, I'm, wow, you know, the blush is hanging on. Look at the blush. Look at that. Beautiful. My lipstick, I can never keep lipstick on for long and my, my lips are so dry. Anyway, blah. 
but yeah um i'm really liking the coverage the the color is really spot on i mean i cannot tell at all um and it seems to be hydrating my skin. Uh, my skin seems to be plump. I, it's it's not. Oh uh, yeah, it's not uh, caking anywhere. I don't see it really. Let me hang on. I've got my my trusty my trusty mirror here. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna try to put this okay let me look at myself I don't see any any oils breaking through but then again I don't have a lot of oily skin but I do see it um, combining with my skin stuff on my face for want of a better word it's just blending really nicely I don't see any um, uh, dryness around my eye area I have not put on any additional concealer or anything like that I have not used powder or anything like that so I'm just looking down here in my monitor um, you know this is the way it is I don't know if I made a mess putting on my um, my lashes but I don't see any any you know raccoon eyes or anything but yeah that is that is the way it's looking right now uh, you know, if I if I went to um, dinner out, I would be very satisfied with this foundation right now, the way it's holding up, the way it's behaving really nicely. So, so far so good. I'll probably give you guys an update. Um, it is kind of cloudy outside and I'm looking at it, but I am going to go ahead and walk my dog pretty quickly outdoors. Uh, so I might give you guys a really quick look at how it looks like in the daylight outdoors. This is with artificial light, obviously, and my light actually is not that um, that bright. There you go. I'm just this is my little lamp on the side that I'm pulling down, but I don't have very very uh, powerful uh, lights on my room in here and only because my webcam just picks up a lot of light as it is so I don't feel like I need to overblow my face and stuff and um, I'm trying to give you an accurate uh, interpretation of what you're seeing on my face I don't like blowing out lights or anything like that uh, some people do that to minimize their wrinkles and fine lines so they look younger um, it is what it is this is the face you're gonna get so I don't care as long as you see me and I'm not in the dark you know and you're seeing an accurate rendition of what I'm seeing down here I do can tell that this is like an accurate lighting environment for this foundation that's all I care about so anyway that's it two hours later we're doing good we're gonna go on with our life today and um, do some walking outside and some other maybe videos or things like that and then I'll uh, I'll be back at the end of the video you know tonight or whatever and give you a quick recap of how this foundation was okay love you guys see you later bye okay guys I'm gonna make this quick I uh, I got a membership to Sam's Club today uh, it's part of my like little employee perks where I get some discount uh, membership new membership I used to belong to Costco very very long time ago um, and maybe maybe Sam's Club maybe down in Florida or somewhere I, I don't even remember but I bit the bullet I've been watching uh, Flav City a lot I love him I love his little baby Rose I just love that family and he is so knowledgeable about organic products and healthy foods and all of that and I decided to just bite the bullet and get a membership to one of these places um, and Sam's Club happens to be the one that's you know closest to my house so this is the funny part is I'm so glammed up and you know they're going to take my picture or whatever they're probably going to say what is this old lady doing here with these glamorous eyelashes and all that but okay fast update um 
so this is the uh this is the foundation as it stands now it's uh what time is it 3 19 i'm looking at my dashboard in the car uh so the blush is really holding up very well as you can see um hold on let me just put this here so i don't there we go blush is holding up really well guys i love it um and i really really like the look of this uh, foundation. So here it is. Um, it's really gray outside. It's cloudy overhead. There's a tiny bit of sun peeking through, but ever so tiny. So this is au natural lighting. This is how I really look like. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. So I'm going to be heading in to Costco and let's see what I find. And um, yeah, I'll report back later tonight as far as how, um, you know, how the foundation's holding up and how everything went. Okay. Love you guys. I'll see you in a bit. Oh my God, guys, I am so tired. I am at the same time overwhelmed and underwhelmed. I mean, all right. Spent about $110. I got two chickens. Got the 50-50 blend. This is my own bag, by the way. Got some everything bagels. Got some potato chips for the guys. Got some Atlantic smoked salmon. Got a huge block of Havarti. Some milk. Oh, look at this. Check this out. Cage-free eggs. There's 24 of these. That's a great deal. I think it was something like, I don't know, nine bucks or something it was it was really inexpensive but anyway um so it had some stuff in it uh that i was hoping i'd have but they didn't have it and then there was some stuff that i was really happy with but oh my god i am so zonked so here's my my makeup so far i don't know if i can flip this hang on oh yeah there you go Okay, so, I don't know what's, my eyes are like, I've got raccoon eyes. I think the, I think the mascara has had it, um, but my blush is still on, and uh, this is how I look in this weather with my eyes. I think my eyes are half done, and it's windy, and I think my um, lashes are about to come on off. That was in another video. Sorry, I'm kind of looking focused at the sky there, but yeah, I think I've oiled up a little bit, but it's not bad. It's not, it's not bad at all. So that's that. I think I'm gonna call it a day. It is, what time is it? Gosh, I think it's like after five. So it's been on for quite a while. That's how it looks like. And uh, like I said, I can't even tell if I've got raccoon eyes or not at this point, but it is what it is. I'm going to head on home and, uh, oh my gosh, let's see if I can double tap again. There we go. I'm going to head on home guys and, uh, put all this away and get into my PJs and call it a day. So I hope you had fun with me today and I hope this was a little helpful for you guys. Again, that's the flower foundation. So I'm really liking it. I'm definitely going to be using it. And uh, yeah, give it a thumbs up, please, if you like this video. And, uh, you know, please support my channel. I'm really, really, um, really beholden to all of you guys. I'm very happy with, um, you know, this year and how it's progressing. So more to come. Love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.